I heard the little boop. There we go. Sync it up. Sync it up. Drive a truck. Bust a nut. How we doing, Phil? I'm not situated yet. I'm just, I'm ready to go. I just took the albuterol. Two puffs of my inhaler. There's a stranger sitting on my bed. I'm just, I'm ready. I'm in it, ladies and gentlemen. Jake the Snake is here up from North Carolina. My little cousin. <laughs> 18-year-old stallion. Yeah, we have a live studio audience today. Welcome back to Sunday Sauce, ladies and gentlemen. Your grandmother's favorite podcast. This is episode eight. It's your boy Vinny. It's your boy Phil. Holiday season coming to a close. What a fucking wacky week, man. I'm unstable right now. Why? What's going on, Vin? Dude, my dog got fucking sick. You got a new dog. I did get a new dog. We have another new dog behind us, as you can see. There's a, actually a really funny story behind the uh, the prop that we have back there. The wiener dog behind yeah, us? Yeah, so my cousin Genevieve, shout out Jen, she has a wiener dog. She's had a wiener dog for a very long time, and everyone always gets her wiener dog gifted or themed gifts. Memorabilia. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure she's <laughs> sick of it because someone in the family got that for her, and she was leaving the house and was just like, okay, I'm leaving. Bye, everyone. And she straight up left it there. I was like, all right, don't worry about it. I'll put it on the podcast. She just left so, it behind. Yeah. I got her a little, um, I'm like, do you even, it's so hard to get gifts for her because I don't want to get her the generic wiener dog shit. Right. But at the same time, you know, what do you get her? Exactly. So I got her a little wiener dog bookshelf thing where like her body divides and you put the books. I don't even know if she reads. How many phallic objects does it take to put <laughs> someone past the breaking point? <laughs> they are indeed shit. There's just wieners everywhere. Like wieners. But yeah, you got a new dog. That no. right there, we need to talk about His that. His name right is Griffin. Down. We're way closer to each other today, right? It's okay. I'm freaking out. I was it's like, okay. tell me about your new dog. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. We moved the table a little bit because we were storing trays of fucking monogoti and lasagna in there this week for the family coming over. How was the family? It was good. Besides my grandpa, you know, Giving my dog grapes. Yeah, do not feed your dog grapes. Yeah, I actually didn't even know it was that big of a deal. Um, my grandpa didn't. He didn't know. You of know, course he not. just he was just being nice and giving the dog a little treat, I guess. But my brother texted me at the table. He's like, "Yo, he just he just gave the dog grapes," and I was like, <laughs> "I was like, all right, like what is what does that mean?" So I start googling at the table. You know me, hypochondriac. Right. I'm just like. Oh my, oh my, oh, oh, okay. Grab my <laughs> parents. We good. have like a meeting in the hallway. I'm like, we, we got to take the dog to the vet. Long story short, we took her to the vet. She had to stay two days, which is honestly really brutal. I, I hate when my dog is not home, especially when she's not feeling good. It's just brutal. And She's a family her, member. Of course. We gave her the IV <laughs> or they gave her the IV. They took all of her blood work and stuff. She's feeling better now. She was just really tired today and her arm started to hurt because of the IV, but she's she's doing much better, so that's that's good. Hell yeah. So yeah, I got a new dog Hell for Christmas. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Young Griffin. He's a <sighs> Bernadoodle. I love it. I He's, fucking love it. His color theme is Merle. Ooh. It's very rare. It's uh, gray and white. Sometimes a little brown thrown in. He's a, he's a gorgeous little man. He's like a shiny Pokemon. He's a he rare He literally breed. is. He looks like a Pokemon. Does he have a middle name? Or do we not get that far Not yet. yet. Okay. So he has a title. Young Griff. Young Griff. Yep. What happens when he's not young anymore? Is he still he's young He's always going to be young Griff. When he's like 80 years old, young Griff. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, my boy? I love it. That's so cute. Have you guys been doing a lot of... When you first get a puppy, it's the most exciting thing ever. You're just fucking rolling around the floor with them all he's hours the of the day. He's the cutest fucking thing ever. Dude, I fucking love dogs so much. That's why I've been so all over the place this week with Harley not feeling good. She woke up today and her arm was hurting a little bit and I was just like, all right, when she gets home from the vet, I'm just going to snuggle with her. We were supposed to record this at one, breaking the fourth wall at 6.05. I have Absolutely. to be... I have to literally be at a birthday dinner extravaganza in two hours. We have to set this all up. I have to stream. It's a lot we have to do. Listen, sometimes it's one of those days, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to embrace that shit. Yes. Because you know what? Not every day can be a perfect day. I'm sorry. It's just so funny that this kid's just laying on my bed. <laughs> What are you doing, stranger? <laughs> Phil's cousin's visiting, and Phil's like, yo, it's cool my cousin comes. I'm like, 100%. It's, you know, this is good practice for when we actually have a live audience, because it, it will happen one No, day. yeah, we're going to be on stage, and there's going to be, like, sold out. And it's going to be me and you with two microphones, fucking bowl of marigot, mm. rigatoni right there, and a little bolognese. You know what I was watching recently on YouTube? They had the, uh, there's that channel, um, like, Blank Answers the Internet. Yep. You ever watch those? And Cody Co. and the other guy from Noelle Tiny Miller. Meeting. Yeah. Tiny Meat Gang. They were on, and I was like, yo, me and Phil would crush this shit. Yep. Like, we gotta we gotta get on shows like that and stuff. That'd be so much fucking fun, dude. Bro, I realized, did you, do you remember the app, I'd Cap That? It sounds familiar. It was an old school app that you take a picture of something, and then it would generate, like, a random funny caption. Okay. I didn't realize Cody Ko. Is he, like, the founder of that? Created that. That's When sick. he was 21. That's sick. And, like, made a... Decent amount of money, according to him, and then, like, you know, just invested that back into, like, mm. 
whatever his endeavors were, but the dude's like a computer program fucking genius. That's crazy, man. <clears throat> I wanted, I remember there was a point in high school where everybody wanted to come up with a fucking app. Right. I never had a good app planned, but I had this idea. Hear me out for a second. And if you guys steal this, you're fucking, there's going to be problems, all right? <laughs> Cousin Nunzio yeah. is going to come gonna say send, what's up. Yeah, yeah. he's going to break your legs. <laughs> Louis, Louisville slugger on, on your kneecaps. <laughs> so here's the thing. You know how when you're eating a, a, a thing of salsa, take Tostitos, for example, right. not sponsored, but take Tostitos, and if you don't have a bowl handy, right, which I know all, all of you guys are going to be like, just get a fucking bowl, idiot. No. Let's say you're camping. You don't have a fucking bowl. Okay. And you're having your chips and salsa. There gets to a point where your hand can't fit to get to the bottom. That's a fact. So I says, I says to my what teacher do you says at the time, to him? I says, why don't we just make it like a canoe? So we have an elongated shape where you can get to the bottom as opposed to just the regular jar style. And the whole like class kind of looked at me like, not even that bad of an idea. <laughs> Why don't they? a fucking genius. And listen, I'm not a fucking engineer. I don't know a lot about jars and how they, you know, Jesus Christmas, man. You just fucking chugging. You need some more, buddy? I, I've been taking a couple yeah, give sips. Give me some this more. Careful. Fucking, we got some. You gotta go fast. This guy's fucking thirsty over here. Thank there you. you go. Nice. All right. Pop me off. But yeah, I just, I feel like that would make a lot more sense than just a fucking regular sized jar. That is a genius idea. Right? We I should, we I, should invest. Let's go. Maybe our sauce, the Sunday sauce. Will be a fucking canoe. canoe. I love this idea. Wait a second. How come they've never made like packaged pasta? Like you open it up and dip it in the sauce. Bro. I mean, for good reason. We need to stop talking about these yeah. in a public forum. Because of the fact that someone's going to take this shit and run with it, and we just... How does that work with copyright? If we set it first, does that mean no one else can take it? Or is there someone right now in Kansas just whooping up a fucking long, elongated sauce? No, there's container? someone in Kansas doing that Fuck right now. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Will you ever go to Kansas? Someone asked me no. recently if I would ever go to Kansas. No. I was like, listen, never say never, there's, but what bro, is there to there do There are Kansas? some states that I will never go to. Where have you been? You see states? that new trend on Twitter right now where like you have to mark on the map where... I don't use Twitter. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, follow him at Third Eye of Truth. He's totally going to check out your teeth. I fucking love Twitter. I literally Twitter, don't. Dude. Twitter's a powerful tool. It is. You just don't but give that a fuck. That I don't use. You're just like, fuck that. Filion Nation, the fucking fallopian tubes. <laughs> Got another one. I, I told you guys I would fucking bring that one up. Oh, the fallopian tubes. Dude, there's a new one every fucking episode, and they're so creative, and I'm just like, what about Vin? We, or Vinny. We need something that can fucking be a creative name for the fan base. Vinny's... Vinny's Guineas. <laughs> hey, yo, yo. Here we go. Too quick with it. Was, Literally too quick I mean, with you're it. the rapper here, Bro, dude. Fall fallopian tubes had me dying, bro. I mean, <laughs> I, don't imagine? I don't personally have a vagina and fallopian yeah. tubes, but that just really, that hit different, you know? Mm. Really hit different. People have been saying they look like Abola Danger. You know? <laughs> Let me show you a picture. Pull that off because it just sounds funny. Dude, and yeah, so I'm going out in like two hours. I'm super duper pressed for time, but hopefully we'll be going out tonight. Me? You guys, you know what? You both, you do resemble each other. I know. You do indeed resemble each I'm other. I'm gonna collab with her one day. You should. That'd be a great. <laughs> you should do a fitness flop. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. Stop leaving fucking comments about it. It ain't coming back, Chief. All right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but honestly, just eat a dick. This man is expanding his horizons. Exactly. You know, how bad. I wanted to say that. <clears throat> Eco, just like. Argh! I just, I just don't even talk about it because, like, it, it's a waste of mental space. I haven't made a fitness video in over a year. They're hanging on to that fucking kung fu grip. Just <laughs> ah! listen. I like to think of myself as like Thanos of the fitness industry, right? Mm. A little Marvel. I like that. A little Marvel. Uh, analogy I'm proud of you. Right I'm there. proud of you yeah. for that analogy. Yeah. So I thought you were gonna dive in deeper about when his I whole decide story arc. when I decide to just get all five power stones and decimate the entire infinity, industry. Infinity, infinity stones. You fucking scrub. <laughs> Keep going. I will. Mm. But right now. I'm recharging my batteries, I'm gaining power, and then I'll do it. I love it. You use the stones to destroy the stones. Yes. <laughs> you about to get your head chopped off by Thor. I can't... You did like Infinity War, though. You did. Yes. You said you did. Don't don't go back on that. Don't double it's down. It's not bad, mm. but it's not like, oh, let me sit down and watch Infinity War with the boys. I fucking love that movie. I've been eating like a fat fuck. There's no way to segue into this conversation. <laughs> I just need events. I've been eating so bad. Why? Dude, it's well, the holidays. Well, first of all, we had the talk on the last episode. We were like, dude, start over January 1st. I, I literally typed up something in my notepad, is what I like to do. Yep. It's a good mental exercise for me. I found a picture of Vegeta charging up his Super Saiyan blue. <laughs> all right. I 
pin that at the top of the note. Then I said on January 1st, there's fucking like lint on my fingers. <laughs> January 1st, I said, I will start training like Vegeta. I have the whole thing memorized. Eat less, train more, get better focus, improve discipline, lead a healthier lifestyle that will lead to more positive mental clarity. And overall more success in life. 110 fucking percent. I'm, I'm ready, bro. Yeah. So it's one of those things now, though. It's detrimental sometimes when you know you're going to start on a specific date because, what are there, three days left in the year? But now I'm just like, oh, you're making lasagna? I'll take three fucking trays. Oh, ice cream? Yep. I got home from The Nest. I almost said the actual name of the bar. I got home from The Easy Nest the other buddy. night. And I woke up the next day and I was like, did I fucking cheat last night? And I came upstairs, yes. half a cheesecake. Bl blasted. <laughs> <laughs> Left the fruit on the top, just ate the whole cake. Yeah. It was fucking awesome. Cheesecake is dense. It's deadly. Do you prefer the cheesecake that's like Americanized cheesecake or the Italian style? Like American. I, okay, There's good. one thing Americans do better than yeah. Italians and it's cheesecake. Dude, I, I my mom's like, we have cheesecake. And I fucking took a bite and it was the <clears throat> Italian one. I almost threw up at the table. <laughs> oh, <laughs> literally, they, they take regalt cheese oh. and just like put it into a cake form and that's it's it. It's almost like that cake should be eaten with sauce on top. Yeah. Like it, it does, it's not a fucking dessert. Bro, have you ever had spaghetti pie? Spaghetti pie? Maybe? Yep. I don't think so. You cook up some spaghetti, you put it into a skillet, shit ton of butter, salt, and you fry it. Ooh. Holy shit. And it's it crisps good. up and you get some hot cherry peppers, put that shit on top, cut it into a pie. Jesus Christmas. You ever have a fucking... For, when you said pie, immediately my brain went to the pot pies, the chicken pot pies. Of course. Those are fucking astounding. I know. But you always burn your mouth. Always. It's molten magma on oh. the inside. And you're so hungry that you don't give a fuck. <laughs> yep. You're just burning the insides of your... Dude, I've realized I eat all my food cold. I know. It's so kind of weird. So when I do eat something <laughs> that's even just room temp, I'm yep. burning my whole shit. I'm fu The other day I had fucking... Actually, it was yesterday. I had pasta with like a meat sauce with some peas that my mom made. And I'm eating it. I'm fucking like, damn, this is like... It's fucking hot. Like I'm really hungry. <laughs> Woke up today. I was like, "What the fuck?" The whole the whole first layer of skin on the top right. of my mouth gone. Do you know what's the disintegrated. worst? Disintegrated. When you make like a frozen pizza or like you know like bagel bites, Ooh. and then like that I love that those. cheese on top excited. when it hits the roof of your mouth and sticks there, and the cheese and the roof of your mouth become one new organism. Yes, and it just amoeba like, of yeah. <laughs> burning flesh. <laughs> Dude, the fucking, the pizza pockets are even worse. Those Tostino fucking. Tostino pizza rolls. Dude, you grab one, you're like, oh, it's fucking nice and cool. Yep. Pop it in your mouth. Ah! <laughs> it burns your shit, dude. Those What's, are fucking awful. Those might be some of the best, like, frozen foods. I fucking love them. They remind me, oddly enough, of Gushers. The can, like, not the, not <laughs> yeah, the candy, but the They're pizza sweet. Gushers. Yeah. I like the shirt that you're rocking today. Thanks, I, I gotta get back on my long sleeve. This grind. is actually an Old Navy t-shirt. I told my mom, listen, Christmas this year is very basic. Mm. Just give me black t-shirts. That's all I want. Old Navy makes makes the ones for me. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. You're a polo guy. I'm an Old Navy guy. Absolutely. But they don't have, because they're out of season right now, the crew neck short sleeves. Mm. She gets me the long sleeves, but I'm like kind of digging it. It's a good vibe. If I get hot, I just roll it up I a was going to say, the, go forearm, the forearms, the forearms, the forearm flex, when you slide oh, up the Jesus sleeves. Christmas. Fantastic. Absolutely. I love that phrase, by the way. Sometimes you go... Just an inch up the bicep, mm. see what you're working with. <laughs> I remember when I was in high school, I would always wear zip-up sweatshirts. And for whatever reason, I just found the need to constantly roll up the sleeve. Dude, there's pictures of me. The sleeve is like all the way up here. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing? I'm trying to rock a, a zip-up tank top right now. Phil, is everything okay? No, I'm You're thirsty. like a fucking groudon right now. Just <laughs> drought in your mouth. Straight. That really didn't make a lot of sense. Groudons are weak to water. Aren't those the fire boys? It's the big red guy that goes... <laughs> Hey, doesn't really sound like the oh, <laughs> this man bro, just Googled Groudon. Guy. I love it. You're more I'm... of a Kyogre, just surrounded by the water. Yes, that that's the big sense. fat whale, right? Yeah, he's... Dude, there's a fight in Generation 3 when you're playing through Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald where literally they have Kyogre in the water and then they give Groudon a fucking plank of land that's literally this fucking big. Yeah. And it's like, this dude is going to get killed. Bro. Literally, he's weak to water and he's surrounded by water. He's a battling a losing fight here. Kyogre looks deadly. Kyogre's got that big dick energy. You he know really that does. man's packing that fucking schlong over there, bro. <laughs> Rayquaza, too? Rayquaza's my man, Yo, dude. he's sick. I was watching this weird... I went down this weird rabbit hole today of YouTube videos where I was watching all these channels that would restore old game consoles. Like, literally, they'll have an old Game Boy Color from, like, fucking 2000, and they'll just rip the whole thing apart, repaint it, put the buttons all refurbished. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fucking, I watched, like, nine videos of it, and I was That's like, this is awesome. 
I wish I was like one of those type of people that can do that. I would, like my brain doesn't work like that. I would that. snap the fuck out. I would bug out. Yeah, 100%. But I, I went, again, when I was down this rabbit hole, I was like, you know what, man? I want to buy, like, an old Game Boy Color that's, like, sealed and unbox it on my channel. Granted, absurdly expensive. Right. But I feel like that would be a dope fucking video. It would be. Like, th- think about that title. Unboxing a factory sealed Game Boy Color Pikachu <laughs> edition. January 1st, 2020. New content strategy. That's a good one. I mean, I would click on that. Would you click on that shit? He said, fuck yeah. I don't know if you heard that or not, but he said, fuck yeah. I would click on that. Bro, shit. some people do, like, Max Mofo does the um, Pokemon card unboxings. Oh, so dope. But, like, it pays for itself after a while because the ad revenue mm. from the views and then you just oh, keep buying. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. There was this one video about this guy that quit being a lawyer to open up Pokemon cards. I know him, Leonhardt. Yeah. Yeah, we're actually, we're friends. He's, he's the oh, excuse coolest me, dude. dude ever. You he friends was, with the president, too? He was <laughs> on Ninja Warrior. Leonhardt's the shit. Go check out his channel, guys. He, he, yeah, he was going to be a lawyer. Um, and when all the stuff with Kappa, when we were talking about all that stuff with like, you know, is your content for kids, not for kids, he made like a whole video and he's like, yeah, everyone needs to chill out. All right, I was a lawyer before this. We're like, let's go Leonard. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, he was a beast on Ninja Warrior. He unboxed a pack of cards, show them to the camera. And then he started fucking <laughs> climbing the <laughs> shit. I feel like in my prime, I actually would have been really good at Ninja Warrior because I have really short limbs. Like, I could, like, grab the fucking pegs and right. shit. I could do that. I, I would be a beast. I would just have to practice the salmon ladder because I tried to do it one time. Salmon ladder? And I didn't know how to do it, and mm. I looked like an idiot, even though I could bang out, like, 25 pull-ups on the There's good definitely day. some, like, Ninja Warrior pro in the comments right now thinking, like, you think you could do the pegs, but Okay, you well, can't. let's go through it. Yes. Like, the agility stuff, jumping from, like, block to block. I got that. I would do I that. got that stride. That. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd be good at like, you know, the thing where you, I, I mean, I, I would assume this is all just, you know, hearsay. I've never tried this shit, but the thing where you have to like throw that's the, the salmon pole, the, I feel like I'd be good at that. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of that, not right now. I'm a fucking amoeba right now, but like straight up when I'm not right. in my muck form. By the way, stop calling me fucking Snorlax in the comments, you pricks. All right? You motherfuckers. Muck. Yeah. I appreciate the fact you're enjoying the podcast, but if I get called Snorlax one more time, I'm going to fucking lose it. We're talking about Thanos snap a lot. I hope Thanos snap you motherfuckers. <laughs> Yeah, so we got. I could do the agility blocks, no problem. Fuck yeah, I can do the warp wall because I got the reach. Oh, you actually like, know like the I'm, terms. I'm to like this Gumby, shit. dude. Like my is Gumby span. that green thing? Yeah. Like, Hi everybody, yeah. I'm Gumby. Yeah. Okay. And the little horse is you. <laughs> yes, yes. We had this one text thread. We oh, dude, that we just, I hope we still have that. We were just talking about all these fictional characters that me and Phil are like Goku, Vegeta, we Mario, were fucking, Luigi. Mario, Luigi. That's the best one. There was one that had me fucking dead. I can't, was it Shrek and Donkey? Yeah. Did we ever do? We did Shrek and Donkey. There was one. There's so many great R two D two and C three P. Yes. Just it's so great being best friends with someone that's like a polar opposite. Like fucking tall, stocky, short, stocky. It's like it's fantastic, dude. I was gonna say tall and thin, but you're really not thin. Like you're a built dude. Yeah. Pex for days. Pex for days. Buddy. Unbelievable. Absolutely. Great development. <laughs> fucking fitness. Impeccable. Swap. <laughs> oh, oh, oh like this that? guy. By the way, I love the fact. That we literally had no notes for today's episode. We were just like, yo, yep. let's just fucking do it. That's it. Honestly, I'm feeling this formula. I like it. This might be a new formula for it us. It is. Speaking of formulas. What formulas are we talking about now? I don't know. I just wanted to talk about Breaking Bad. I just fucking love that show. It might be one of the best shows. It my, is the best my show. My cousin's pointing at me because he's re-watching it right now. That's my boy. He gave me the fucking <clears throat> one of these. Fantastic. Absolutely. I, I want to re-watch it again. And I actually, I saw it for the first time this year. And I fucking fell in love with it and I keep telling you you gotta watch Better Call Saul I've seen the first season watch the rest of it it's de- Better Call Saul is a very very slow burn but it, it gets so good man and every episode <clears throat> when you're done you're like well fuck it it's five in the morning let's <laughs> boot up another one let's Saul go. is such a good character he's amazing and the fact that you see him becoming you actually don't see him I mean this is not really a spoiler but you don't see him the way you know him in Breaking Bad no till literally the last episode they've released he's slipping Jimmy buddy slipping Jimmy such a great fucking show. Slippin' Jimmy. Slippin' Jim. His brother is such a douchebag, man. Bro, I still haven't seen the Breaking Bad movie. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Dude, you need to watch it just for the credits song. We're gonna watch it tomorrow. Actually, please commit to that. No, yeah. Because it's so great. The Dude. last song? Static on the radio. Last night, so went beautiful. to the movies. We saw Uncut, Uncut Gems. Gems. Yeah, talk about that. Bro, that movie was phenomenal. Mm. I hate looking up movies after... I go to them, like, to see what people, other people think about them. Because, number one, Reddit is, like, a fishbowl. They either hate something or love something. Yeah. And they were torn in the comments, too, like, this movie's fucking trash. And they think they're, like, this, like, movie buff expert, yeah. you know, 
fucking everything I saw was abundantly positive, bro. Like crazy positive. Adam Sandler's acting is out of control, dude. I said in the last podcast or the, the one before that, his, he's an amazing actor. He just does a lot of comedies that are like you know yeah. the quick make a quick buck and shit like that. But in Rain Over Me, I told you about this. That movie, he's absolutely incredible. Um, there's another really serious role that he has, but this one apparently Oscar buzz best role of a lifetime. People are saying, "Jeez, dude, it was insane." Dude, I can't wait to see it. We were we were talking about the fact that it, it's all about the Diamond District in Manhattan. Yep. That's where I got my Mario star. Mario star. Motherfucker, no. <laughs> no Valentina. <laughs> Fuck off. Do not disturb. <laughs> oh, I'm a pro. Do you remember the first episode where we got a text and I was like, oh, yeah. Ow. It's falling apart. <laughs> this, this man had to take a 30 minute breather. Yeah, I was like, we need to just, I need to walk around. Now I'm like, fuck you. Bam, son. <laughs> Done. I'm yeah. fucking professional. It's really no big deal. Finally downloaded Omni Disk Sweeper. It's Phil's all about been telling Omni me for Disc fucking forever to download. Let me go this on a shit. rant real quick. Go ahead. You have the floor. It's your podcast, you know. Stephen Jobs, right? I love Steve Jobs. Stephen, listen to me, from the grave. I've never heard anyone call him Stephen. I know. I just you better not disrespect. I swear to God, I'll fucking no. I'm not. We're very close right now. I'll leap over this table. Hey, he's like just a, a sociopathic billionaire, but I mean, <laughs> I didn't say that. He did. <laughs> but, but listen, he does something with his technology, his devices, where he hides files on his. On my computer, on your uh, computer. You didn't know you had those files on there until you downloaded Omni Disk Sweeper. It is a weird thing. Like, for some reason, every week that we've been recording these, before we record, I'm like, yeah, Phil, I got seven gigs available. Yep. And then I have to, like, fucking dive in, delete the last week's recordings yep. and all this shit. I'm paranoid. I'm going to delete Hidden something important. files. That was weird. Yeah, we went to this thing with the Omni Disk sweep Sweeper program, which, by the way, if you have a Mac, get it, because Phil has been telling me to get it. I haven't gotten it. Today I got it. It takes two seconds. It scans all the files on your computer, and you can just click on them and delete them. Yeah, it shows dude. you how much space they're taking up. It's like, oh, hey, Vinny, here's 99 gigs of just dust that you can <laughs> remove now. Literal sawdust yeah. on your computer. I don't understand hard drives. It's like... You literally, by the way, there's something in this fucking basement that turns on every time we're 20 minutes into the, is the, it this fucking fridge? <laughs> it's the refrigerator. I'm throwing this fucking thing out. Seriously, all or of a sudden I hear, <laughs> and I know you guys don't hear it, but if we, what happens is with the audio enhancing, when it's quiet, it's quiet, but then right, right when you start talking, you subtly hear in the background that, Nyeh. we need a fucking real studio, man. We really do. I got me, I got my parents in the room across from us fucking talking to my grandmother, <laughs> shooting the shit in the middle of the podcast. I got fucking cousin fucking Jesse <laughs> lounged out on my bed fucking chilling. You know, but listen, these are the things we do for you guys. So we fucking love you. But yeah, Uncut Gems. I'm going to go see it soon. Yeah, so basically it's about Adam Sandler's character. His name's... uh. Is it Howie? Howie. Howard. Howard. Yeah, and they call him Howie probably, yep. I would assume. <clears throat> and he is a, like a jeweler, a diamond seller in the Diamond District of New York. And his family's involved with like the Jewish mob. Mm. And he gets involved in many different things. And yeah, I'll just say that. <laughs> it gets very intense. I heard you root for him when you really shouldn't. And that's like my favorite type of movie, I, TV I loved show, his character. entertainment. I love Tony Soprano, Heisenberg. Like, you really should not root for Walter at the end of Breaking Bro, Bad, but you do. I, You're like, come on, man. Absolutely. I'm... Uh, 100%. I can't even talk. You just I'm get so rooting excited. for Walter. Yes. Quiet. But you shouldn't. He's a fucking horrible person for you. Is man. he, though? Yeah. <laughs> Remember the one scene where she's like, don't say it was for the family. And he's like, it wasn't. Is that Skylar? I liked it. I was good at it. <laughs> You're that, like, holy fuck. Bro, Skylar sucks. I hate her so much. Exactly. Everyone, man's going through cancer. I know. Just shut Dying. the fuck up, Skylar. Dude, me and my dad got heated over Skylar. We were really like, shut up! Shut the fuck up! God damn. Yeah, and my... she's just, I fuck Ted and he's tossing the salad and he's just like, <laughs> I was like, I literally like put my iPad down because I watch all of them on my iPad like right here. I'm fucking, I guess that's how I ingest my media. I put it down. I was like, she did not just, she did not. She did not. And no. And he's tossing the salad. You know, I love all the memes online of how Walter Jr. just loves breakfast. <laughs> Dad, I want breakfast. I love Walter uh, Jr., man. He's such a good actor. He is. So good. Um, You were about to say something about Breaking Bad. One of my favorite scenes is when he's at the car wash and Bogdan, is oh, that his name? God, with the yeah. eyebrows. Bogdan. <laughs> fuck you, Bogdan. And fuck your eyebrows. <laughs> That's the first episode, actually. Yeah. Dude. Oh, Arguably one of the best pilots to a show. Yeah. A lot of people always say, like, the first episode is kind of trash. Like, if, even if you look at, not saying this is trash, but The Office, the first episode is so much different than the rest of them. I've never sat down and, like, watched The Office all the way through. You serious right yeah, now? Yeah. <laughs> Why? What I the don't fuck know. are you doing with your life? I, I don't it's like... It's so good. It's emotional. It's funny. 
Yeah. I, There's a scene. Um, you won't know this because I'm, I'm guessing you stopped before this point. But a certain. Ah, this is so hard to talk about without spoilers. Pam, do you, do you care about spoilers? Everyone watching this has seen The Office, and if you uh, have it, what the fuck? Like, I'm saying the <laughs> yeah, same thing I said. To him. We're this far in. Go so for it. Steve Carell's <laughs> last episode, the main character Michael, he leaves the show. Yep. And all of the cast members sing him a goodbye song. And they sing like all about the office and how long he's been there and stuff. And it wasn't in the script. They improvised. Well, they all planned it beforehand, but they were singing basically to Steve Carell, not to Michael. Right. And his reaction, he had no idea it was coming. So he starts like crying and smiling. Oh, and you're no. Like, you're like, oh my God, this was a candid real moment. <laughs> had they, for the, first of all, how the fuck did they pull that off? Literally. Everyone's singing and shit. It was amazing. Um, That show was fantastic. That 70s show I started getting into again. Never saw that either. Oh my god, you are I don't a like bitch. those type of shows, dude. You don't like sitcoms? No. Mm. I like You don't like shit with a laugh track behind it. Curb your enthusiasm is so Is that a show or a movie? Goddamn funny. It's a show. It's a show. What is that about? I've heard about that. Larry before. David, um, from Seinfeld. Mm. That's his show. That's the bang 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 right? Uh, is that Seinfeld? That's Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> was that a good was that a good representation yeah, it was. of that? Okay. <laughs> um there's the also in Seinfeld is the boom 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 boom. That's also Seinfeld. Nope, that mean that is Curb Your Enthusiasm. Fucking lit. All yep. right, I got you. Yo, by the way, I like straight up retired from TikTok. <laughs> Did you? This man's had seventeen hundred followers and six videos and retired. Dude, I I have to get back on the horse because I just fell off and it trampled me a little bit and yep. stepped on my face. But I had one video, forty five k. I think it's at. It's hilarious. That's what's up, man. It's a little self deprecation humor oh but it's, it's very very <laughs> fucking it's out there it's so funny listen though. in in my opinion with comedy it's like I, I know a lot of people that have the opinion of like don't make fun of yourself like why are you doing that but it's, it's like the, yo, the funniest stuff like you need to laugh at yourself in life yeah. Yeah, everyone that takes themselves so fucking seriously can just eat a dick like bro fuck you i monetized <laughs> the dot on my forehead <laughs> it's a it's it's the thing yeah I was at the nest the other night, and my boy... Remember when we went to the nest on Thanksgiving Eve, and my buddy Mike popped up? He's like, yo, you're the internet guy. Yep. What's up? He was there. He's like, where's uh, where's, where's Phil? Where's Phil? Where's the internet guy? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. You know, it just you haven't came out with me in a while. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit upset I about literally... It. Yeah, we have not gone out in so long. Come out tonight. Let's fucking... The last time we went out was... Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Eve. Eve. That's a sin. That's brutal. We literally have the most profitable podcast now. I know. 100,000 plus it's subs. Insane. What are you doing? Dude, we're averaging like 50K between each of us. Fuck yeah. By per, the way. Per hit, month hit from that, this podcast. Hit that fucking like button or we're going to have some problems, guys. No, we actually <laughs> need to start getting sponsors on this podcast. We do. We definitely do. <laughs> Otherwise, my mom's going to kick me out of the house and I'm going to be out of a job. <laughs> yes. And then we're going to have to film this in a dumpster alley yep. with raccoons. There was an animal I want to talk about today. I'm so glad I remember this. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no, seriously, have you ever heard of, I don't want to fuck up the name, the pe I have to fuck it, my phone's not over here, this hold man. on, I gotta look this up, hold on, bring up an, a bring up an encyclopedia Britannica over here, D dude, I think it's called the, axolotl, no, it's possum, a, it's a mammal with a fucking scaled back, it starts with a P, platypus, no, no, <laughs> Oh, fuck me, bro. How do I go scaled to my history? Scaled reptiles. Hold on. No, it's not a reptile. It's a S mammal. Scaled mammals. There's someone, there's an enthusiast in the comments right now that's just cringing. I'm going to get it. Pangolin. The pangolin. I, I remember it sounded like penguin. Dude, the pangolin, right? How do you say it? Pangolin. Pangolin? Yep. They're the only mammal on the planet that have a scaled back. And dude, like a tiger can see them in the wilderness and they fucking... They curl up like that, and they're impenetrable. Yeah, it's a... Uh, but they're they're really poached, like, a lot. They're one of the most poached animals in the world or something like bro, that. Bro, it's, it's a sand sad. slash. Dude, literally, there's... Yes! Holy fucking... How did... I'm the fucking Pokemon guy. I didn't even make that reference. I know, You're I Absolutely got you. right. But yeah, they're mammals. They climb trees and shit. There's a giant pangolin. I can't yep. remember this fucking thing's pangolin. name to save my life. There's a giant one that just fucking... So cute though. I saw a video on Twitter of one ripping a wall, and I was like, "What is this majestic beast?" <laughs> so I started watching videos, and yeah, they're they're really fucking they're really cute. I don't know why I got so excited over this, but like they're fucking great, dude. That's so interesting. Like it, it's weird how nature has like offensive animals and defensive animals, yeah. like predators and prey. Like this thing's main thing is just like going into a ball. You know what's like, so crazy too? I wonder how hard the scales are because if a fucking tiger can't break it, like if you saw that thing. And you were like, let's say for whatever reason you were fighting one. Right. 
if it went to its ball, you're not breaking that thing. I'd pick it up and then punt it. Like it, it would literally, you, you, it, you, it like would a soccer win. ball. It would win because its defense stats are just too high. Yeah, it's but got too much stamina, too much defense. They're really fucking cute, though. Yeah. I was, yo, the, the na- nature shit is so dope, man. I have Disney Plus now. We were talking about how National Geographic is on it. I might just literally start going down rabbit holes of just animal <clears throat> content. I'm so sorry. One of my cousins <laughs> is, um, he's a biologist. Oh shit, word! You ask this man anything about literally any living thing and he just rattles off like so many different facts i'm like imagine having that much of an enlightened mind mm. like what do you see the world as yeah you know what i fucking get freaked out by what octopus i do and squid bro sea animals are fucking did you weird. ever see the video of the guy putting the octopus in a jar yes and the fucking thing was like <laughs> sweet <laughs> sweet <laughs> It comes out. It literally like, it knows. Grab, grabs the guy's car keys, drives yeah, what home. What the fuck? He's just like jumps sm- into the water, jumps out of the tank, starts yeah. fucking. I don't know why this is my motion for an octopus, but Jesus fucking Christ! Have man. you seen um? What was that movie where the octopus escapes? Literally jumps out of the tank. Oh, fucking Finding Dory. Yes. Or Finding Nemo. Find, finding, finding Dory. Dory. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, fucking. I love Pixar. They're some movies. of the smartest animals out it's, there. It's scary. You th- technically, I, I, I don't remember if I was fucking watching this or I was reading it somewhere online, but literally, they are. They have the capacity to like understand affection more than domesticated pets like dogs and cats. That's like weird. Like if you pet a fucking octopus, they're like, "Oh my god, this is so nice. Please <laughs> yeah, keep maybe going." Because their head is like a ball sack. Ugh, <laughs> fucking dude, there. There's this theory that I heard that they actually came from outer space in meteors. Oh yeah, I've heard that too. That's fucking crazy. They're like they are very alien. They are. You know what's a scary thought? Thinking about how much life is in the ocean in the deep depths of the in sea the mariana that... trench dude the, the the earth is what 75 percent water yep it's some crazy shit like that think about how many people there are billions of people dude there's probably so many fucking weird animals down there that oh there are get... there's a fucking fish with a light bulb on his head the angler fish yeah that like even that thing is fucking weird <laughs> it literally has an iphone flashlight in yeah. the deep sea he's got the fucking <laughs> what is like the, the, the kid kardashian case that fucking lights up <laughs> What Literally, is that called? this man's living in year three thousand. Dude, Kylie's daughter is like absurdly intelligent. Did you see the video of them like baking? I was gonna make a video about Kylie's new like YouTube series. The YouTube she's channel. Doing. I hate it. I, I got. Oh on. look, Stormy's new house. <laughs> Girl's fucking sixty days old, and she has a mansion bigger than my house. Listen, listen. I, I you don't do anything, buddy. Listen, you don't do anything. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You guys know we have differing opinions on this podcast. No, no hold on. I think hold it's on. sweet, wholesome content. I gotta and tell you. And then Chris Jenner starts crying her eyes out because she's like, Kylie, huh, it reminds me of you when you were a kid, when you had a little mansion. Uh, <laughs> it's like, shut the fuck up. Listen, no Phil, one relates to any of this. Listen, Phil, nobody we, cares. We might not relate, but I still think it's some wholesome, sweet. No, dude, it's not. Stormy's so cute. I literally do not care. Stormy's like. <laughs> Squeep. Just like making all these cute noises, and she actually like talks, which is pretty fucking crazy. That girl She's only, will what, never have old? to work a day in her life, and hey, it's depressing. Listen, isn't that what we ultimately grind for, so that one day our kids will be more well off than us? But it's earned. But it's earned. I I'm always of the mindset, and this could fucking break our friendship up. But I think the Kardashians are fucking geniuses. Every single one of them, from Kendall, Kylie, Kim, all of them, dude. The fact that they have all this money and they're able to sustain it and continue to grow their empire. I mean, come on, bro. This guy knows what I'm talking listen, about. Money makes money. That's not a fact. The, the I mean, ri- that is a fact. The, the rich do get richer. <laughs> yes. I'm with you on that. However, I just think they're very smart. I feel like the, the cool thing in mainstream culture is to hate on them, but they're just really intelligent business people. I, I'll just, I'll be, that's my opinion. If you don't like it, you could suck my ass, Phil. <laughs> they're also fugazi as hell. I like them. And Kendall, if you're watching this, <laughs> was good. <laughs> Say what up to Travis while you're at it. I fucking love Kendall. You know we're the same age, me and Kendall. Have you seen the pic? No, I'm not going to get into that. But <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, we're not touching that. I don't even know where you're going with it. I'm not even going to question it. You know it. my savageness comes in layers, right? I'm like an onion. <laughs> you are an onion. That's a fact. If you break off a layer, and I'm not supposed to, there's no You're like no a filter. fucking snowball. Just yeah. like, oh, I'm going to say that, say that. <laughs> fucking we're going off the rails, boys. Yeah. I love it. I mean, I do. I just, I don't know. I, I love I the think, fact that we just don't I'm agree. I'm about to get real right now. Oh, shit. They're creating unrealistic beauty standards for women in the 21st century. Mm. That is that is a hot take. Not really a hot take. A lot, not, of pe- a lot of people agree with that. That is a fact. I don't really know where I fall on that. I would have to think about that more and like ingest more information before I make a claim. But I can educate you on it. By all means. 
plastic surgery on the face, mm. lip fillers, mm. fat redistribution surgeries. Have mm. you seen her hips? Yeah. They take fat from your sides and put it's, it into your ass. I mean, that you, you that, can squat. That goes into like a whole debate too of just like what what are your opinions on just plastic surgery in general? Like if 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 a if a woman or a guy wants to change something, I'm of the mindset that like you know it's your body. You as long as you're not hurting yourself or others, do whatever you want to do. You can, but I also see the argument of like, all right, if you want a nice ass, just fucking work out, right. eat right. You know, you don't need to fucking get fat injected from the side of your fucking stomach and put it in your ass because it's not you're right it's not natural but if people want to do that i'm not going to be like no i'm not going to tell them not to do it but yeah. when you're in a position that's looked up to by the entire female gender and sex and you're thought of as like the standard of beauty mm. like you kind of have to set a precedent I get what you're saying. Also, if you're wondering why I just looked down at the computer in complete peril, I realized the reason why it was low in our test recording was because I have it set to like negative th 38 decibels, I would say. So <laughs> let's just pray that in post-production we can we crank can raise that, that up, shit. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Sunday. <laughs> The Bro, ASMR episode for real. I did a deep dive of ASMR uh, the other few I days. I love it. Hate Yo. It. I hate it, bro. I, I hate it. I, you know, the AirPods Pro. Hey. They come up every... It's me. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Bro. I'm, I'm going to make an ASMR con. Uh, I, ASMR no, content. It's softcore porn on YouTube. and that is It's a, not porn. It is. It's it is. not porn. It's not porn. It's role-playing porn, buddy. It's role-play, but it's not porn. No, it's definitely porn. No. Yes. I told you about the the one I watched with the elf ears. That's not fucking porn. Roleplay is borderline porn. No. Yes. I, again, we disagree. I can understand the perspective that some ASM artists definitely play up Stop the sex appeal. That. That's what they are. Don't disrespect the community. ASM artists. They're ASM artists. Some of them definitely, you know, showing a lot of tit. I get it, but, you know, who doesn't like tits? Facts. That so, is a fact. If I had fucking tits, they'd be out in all my fucking videos. Roleplay just freaks me out. I do, yeah. have, I do have tits. You like that? No, it's never... Yeah. This is, you can just tell he doesn't watch it. It's never like that. Yeah, you it's like that? It's always like that. No, it's like... It literally is. It's like this. Oh, is this your first time here? Okay. Well, what's your name? Oh, that's <laughs> nice. My cousin's that name. So, okay, we're gonna... We're gonna just... Uh, Mister, you, you have a really nice wiener. No. And then it's just like... No. <laughs> yes. I will not stand for this disrespect because they are, they are beautiful creators. Anyway, I put on the AirPods Pro and I was like, I'm gonna listen to ASMR with headphones tonight and I'll see... How it is. Did you have a full body ejaculation? <laughs> I went into another dimension. Bro, <laughs> those headphones, I don't know if it was just those. This this bitch went, I'm just gonna reach behind you and scratch your, the back of your head. I fucking felt her on the back oh. of my head. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was full 360. <laughs> and it was it was crazy. Yeah. And I usually watch it without headphones. So like this was just like a mer I was like, this is like 4D. <laughs> I'm like, I'm fucking in it. I'm telling you guys, don't knock it till you try it. Do you know what's the worst? So there's this one YouTuber. No, I shouldn't say the worst, but it's two worlds colliding. Mm. Mukbangs and ASMR. See, again, I'm all for it. Bro, Elliot Choi. I think that's his name. I was watching him when he had like 5K subs and mm. he was like a creator on the rise. I checked back on his channel. The man is at 6 million subscribers Dude, in under a year. People love... That's such an interesting thing. This to is what he does. He goes to KFC or Popeyes or like big greasy fast food joints or like seafood places and orders like a fucking 30 burgers banquet. Yeah. And the guy eats it all. It's crazy. With a microphone right up to his mouth. And he doesn't say a word. It's just <laughs> <laughs> fucking grapefruiting his just man over here. <laughs> Did you ever see on each? How do you enjoy that? No, the craziest <laughs> ones. This is the shit that I just like. I'm all for ASMR, but like this shit I just can't watch because I just find it like gross like no disrespect keep right. doing you the fucking people that eat like giant lobsters you ever yeah, see yeah, this yeah. shit she's like mm. <laughs> rips off the fucking arm dips it in butter sauce like that's... slurps old i'm just like h3 did a video on that yeah that's how i know that from shout out h3 oh my god it was fucking tough to watch man jesus christ but yeah asmr is like what i want to do is i want to incorporate asmr with the gaming stuff because there's a lot of asmr that do role playing stuff but i would love to just have like a whole Series. Hey, I'm just like, it's me. All right, let's fucking jump into the Vinny. mushroom kingdom, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'll still like, I'll commentate regularly, but it'll be, it'll be in that setting. You ever watch the barbershop fucking fireball? You ever watch the barbershop ASMR videos? No. They're fucking insane. In the Turkey, scissors, just like, the Turkish ones. Shoo, shoo. Dude, this guy's like, sit down. 
Starts slapping the shit out of the guy, rubbing his hair. That's not ASMR. That's no, no, but it's it's that's in torture porn. It's in the same. It's I, not fucking porn, bro. I love those videos where he sits the guys down and just. Oh yeah, it's like smack. Relax. <laughs> relax. Just fucking wails like, on yo, the guy's head. Yeah, maybe I can relax if you stop slapping the shit out of the guy. Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> shit was crazy. But I'm telling you, when I start popping off with the ASMR, I don't want to hear shit from you, all right? <laughs> oh, yeah, Vinny's making porn now. It's not fucking porn. You want to know two weird things that I have? Fuck yeah, I want to hear these <laughs> weird things. Kidding me? <laughs> I really wish I could do this because I imagine it all the time. Whenever I see a bald head, I just want to smack the <laughs> shit out of it. Just go... Just smack the shit out of the bald head. <laughs> yes! The second thing. Oh. You ever see a fat man... There's also bald who doesn't have a lot of hair on the back of his head and has the the wrinkles. Oh yeah! I want to take a credit, credit card. card and just swipe that shit. Dude, there's there's that video. It was on Vine of the fat guy walking through the supermarket and the guys behind him with the trombone just <laughs> on the tuba. <laughs> there's something so funny about a fat person walking to to that music. It's nuts. I'm gonna be having a tuba man behind me if I don't fucking fix this diet. But yeah, I'm I'm telling you, January first, dude. This is actually our last episode of 2019. Which is, I mean, right of applause for that. It's fucking, I like having somebody here. I gotta yeah, tell you. We need you. someone here all the time. You should just fucking be here every, every time we Because he's laughing at our jokes, It's too, nice, it's yeah. It's laugh. like reassuring. Yeah. Reassuring. Yeah. That's not, reassurance not a word, I don't think. Yes, it is. Is it? Yes. I don't fuck. I haven't been reading, I need man. reassurance. Yes. Dude, I've been reading like a fiend. <laughs> I haven't. I've been eating like a fucking Just got fiend. some Kurt Vonnegut. Ah. We got some books on stoicism. It's fucking porn, Phil. You're reading porn. <laughs> fucking bitch. Actually, kind of is. Kurt Vonnegut is a wild man. You ever read, um... What the fuck is it called? The Grey? Fifty, shade, Fifty Shades of Grey? My life is Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah? <laughs> no. <laughs> let's dive into it. Let's, I hate let's... Fifty Shades of Grey. Have you ever given it a shot? That is porn. Well, no, yeah, it is that porn. is porn. Yeah. <laughs> we, we agree. Man. We're obsessed with this topic today. You want to go jerk off in the bathroom or something? Jesus Christ. No, it's just weird how like porn is considered like taboo for women. Meanwhile, they'll like read an erotic novel. Mm. But like, no, I don't watch porn. That's gross. It's like, what are you talking about? I feel like a lot of girls do watch porn, though. Me too. And you guys are the real MVPs. Would love to watch it with you sometime. <laughs> that could be fun. <laughs> That'd be great. I just want you to know, I'm just, I'm trying to make this abundantly clear. Like, if you don't come out with me tonight, I'm canceling this fucking podcast. Listen, I got places to be. I got, I'm a father now. I got a puppy. Huh? I understand. That's true. I, you know what? I can't even dog you for that. That was good. It's good. But I'll tell you what, if I take care of my dog, maybe I'll come out later. Listen to me. I say you go walk little Griffin door around the block a couple little times. Griffin, little Griffy Griff. Whiffy. Little Peter Griffin over there. Little ball chin over there. So fucking cute. So cute. I love dog. I'm so happy Harley is feeling better, man. <sighs> He's got blue eyes. I thought a fucking ghost just sat next to me. What the fuck is going on today, man? This man's bugging out. I haven't eaten today yet. That's probably why. I've it's... been eating like an absurd amount of surplus of calories and all of a sudden just no food today. Okay. Yeah. Just hibernate. Why not? Well, I'm going to uh, uh, one of those hibachi places tonight. Here's the thing. We're going out right after. We're going to celebrate my friends uh, Megan and Lauren's. Megan and Lauren, they're twins. Their birthday is New Year's Eve. We're going out for a lovely shindig before the New Year. Uh, and then we're going out afterwards. Here's the thing. I can't really eat before I go out because then I'm like, I don't feel good when I'm I do. fat in the in the, in the the bar, you know? Your gait, your swagger is kind of thrown off. Yeah, like when I feel my <sighs> stomach hitting the fabric of my shirt and like, you know, extending it, hyperextend, <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> By the way, update on the shoulder. Yep. Worst pain yet. It's getting really? it's getting you need to see a doctor. <laughs> I do. 2020, baby. How's your ankle? Oh, fine. How's Ankle's your jaw? great. Jaw's fantastic. Okay, so I'm trying to think of any other pain that out I've of had. three. The shoulder's lingering, that's I gotta it. tell you. And someone was leaving comments on the podcast saying that my posture's fucked. Which I, I'm realizing shoulders without, back. Yeah, they said look at Phil, because Phil's always like this, <laughs> apparently. Uh, apparently. <laughs> I t dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Guys, man. It's pretty funny in uh wow, I apologize again. wow classic when they relaunched World of Warcraft. There was people, because people were playing it so goddamn much, like literally like taking off of work, like not taking care of their kids, like insane addictions, right? Mm. So everyone in like the general chat, like 15 minutes would be like, all right, guys, posture check. <laughs> and everyone would be like, thank, thank you, thank you for that. Posture check? I was questing and my posture was shit, but now it's good. It's kind of hard to actively think about like posture. You it know? is. It's a weird, like this doesn't feel natural at all. I feel, I feel fucking weird right yeah. now. I feel. But your body goes into like the least, least path of resistance. But that's not always like what it, what's good for your body. You know what I'm saying? I feel like my fucking spine's about to 
dislocate. <laughs> it takes energy to, but once you make that like your default setting, like you subconsciously start to be perfect posture. Facts, man. Facts. I used to, I used to have weird posture. Someone pointed it out to me when I was like growing up. Like my shoulders were slightly forward, and I'd walk like on like a forty-five degree angle forward. <clears throat> my legs actually go outward. You ever notice that about me? I literally walk like this. Like, like it's duck feet. it's bad, yeah. And I when I'm walking on a treadmill, could at a be gym, your lumbo pelvic hip complex. Something's fucked up, pelvic, whatever the fuck. I, I'm I'm looking at a mirror in the gym. If I like actively think, okay, let me point my toes forward. It just feels so awkward, but it looks right. If that makes any sense. Definitely doesn't look right, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it looks right what I'm saying. When I point them forward, oh, okay. I'm just walking, but it doesn't feel right. It feels yeah. like everything's fucking out of whack. If I can remember correctly, part of my NASM personal trainer certification, oh, hey, oh. that has to do with lengthened and shortened muscles. The fucking cock on this guy, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. In your, anterior, uh, in your uh, tibialis, like your... Uh, Oh, yeah, it's Caps. connected to the stromboli. Yes, right yeah. next to the cannoli. <laughs> <laughs> right underneath the blueberries, yep. absolutely. To the left of the mighty gut. Yes, and connected to the lasagne. Exactly. 100%. Underneath not... the meatballs. And across the street from the anchovies. <laughs> yes. I just love anatomy, Bro, I had honestly. an anchovy for the first time the other day. For the first time? Have you seen my most recent video? I saw the beginning of it. I would not watch it if you're squeamish. <laughs> I, I saw the comments. Very filthy Frank-esque. You were telling <laughs> oh, me about that as well. Very, bro. uh... Yeah, it's a wild video. I'm gonna I'm gonna dive into it right no, after no, this no, podcast. No. You gonna... really should not. I feel like I should. <laughs> I feel like I should. I'm gonna start a new channel with my boy Matt though. And... Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, we got Collab City going Absolutely. on 2020. Yeah. What's gonna be called? Do you have a name? Do you want to talk about this? this? Is a fucking Sunday sauce? Exclusive. Wake up, buddy. Is that what it's called? I think so. Wake up, buddy. Can I be a guest? Of course. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I still wake need to be. Up, a, buddy. I still need to be a guest on the main channel. Because a lot of people are sleeping out here, and we're trying to wake up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, wake up. I like this premise. Wake. Set your fucking alarms. Up. I've been waking and up, get up at 6.30 every day. My little pooch is crying right next to my bed in his crate. Mm. I take him out. He takes a piece of deal. Mm. Pick him back up and bring him inside. Feed him breakfast. And then he comes snuggles with me for about two to three hours. So you said he was going to get big. How big is he going to get? 70, 80 pounds. What? He's going to be fucking bigger than me. Yeah. How tall does he get? Like probably this table. That's sitting? So on his legs, I'll... no, on his legs, like his head's probably gonna come up to like here. Oh, that's actually not that. That's not that tall. Bro, I feel like Harley's like can... down here, buddy. If she's standing on her hind legs, no, 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 on oh, all just... fours. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Standing, that dude, he's gonna be here. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm like, <laughs> like, where is I this saw, motherfucker gonna be? I saw be? the biggest dog I've ever seen in my life. Oh yeah, on on your Instagram have or your you, Snapchat. Have I think you was, seen that? It was a horse. Man's name was Otis. You ever see the the fucking greyhounds that have that genetic disorder where they're just like yoked? That's not a greyhound. It is. It's a whippet. Whip it. They're like the I'm a I'm a fucking biologist. It's, it's Italian like, greyhound, whip it, greyhound. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's dude. called a myostatin deficiency. My ex girlfriend had a whip it. No, not two whippets actually. It's yeah, it's some it's something like a mutation that just makes them yoked. It's like what why why don't I have that? The fuck? I'm trying to be shredded to the gills. Not trying at all, just yoked. Looking like I'm on a fucking cycle of test. Yeah, so it has to pulsating do veins all over my shoulder blades. Humans can get it. It's yeah? extremely rare, though. Holy shit, man! But yeah, um, so myostatin regulates muscle growth, mm. and Belgian blues, which are like those cows, they get it, and whippets get it. It's more common in them, and they their body can't regulate muscle growth. Wow, you ever see a whippet run? Yeah, <laughs> they're so well, fast. A myostatin whippet or a regular whippet? The myostatin <laughs> ones probably aren't that fast, right? Because they're so yoked. Top speed, they're probably like. <laughs> yeah, dude, they're crazy. Just gas Bro, out. Harley is fast as fuck. She's yeah. not even like built for speed, dude. Mm -hmm. She's built for just like chilling. Yeah, coziness. She was Absolutely. so cute. I think she had a nightmare today. Uh, the The vet was telling us when we brought her today that hold she on, probably. And the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Absolutely. Amen. So, so we're starting a new Continue. religion, the Holy Spirit, ladies and gentlemen. She's so fucking cute. I love her. <laughs> I can't wait till we have them have a play date. Oh my god! Dog. I know they could get married. They could. They're boy and girl. So my cute. one still has his nuts. We got to trim them once he gets of age. When does that happen? When he gets of age. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the age. He's too young. He's only eight weeks right Yeah, now. no, they usually, I think it's within the first year, right? They yeah. get them cut off or removed, however the fuck you want to say it. Oh, I remember when Harley got spaded. She had that, or spayed, I don't know how you probably spayed. say it, but she had that cone. Little oh, baby. But yeah, she was sleeping and her little, like her hind leg was like going like that. And then she woke up and she was like, I was like, it's okay, it's okay, you're here. Like the vet was telling us today that she probably is just having like some like real, like Bad nerves from mm. being at the vet because she definitely just didn't Poor like it. Poochie. Little baby. 
think she's upstairs right now. Like, who the fuck is talking about me? You guys, we should have both the pooches Just... on the table for for a guest <laughs> on one Sunday sauce episode. And then you know what? It would be all four hounds at the table. Because I'm a dog. And we got the fifth fucking hound back here. Yeah, you are. Oh, we didn't even talk about the pig. Oh, yeah. I don't even know if that's in frame. If pigs but... can fly. He's right here. Let me see. I got recognized at the nest. No way. I'm telling you, it was the first time. Sunday sauce, original 151. Original 151. But he also watched the podcast. He came up. He was like, yo, I know you're from YouTube. I was like, let's take a fucking shot. <laughs> it was awesome. I was. I brought you up. I was like, yeah, everywhere we go, Philly gets recognized. It's really cool to like experience that for my own now. It mm -hmm. was fucking so dope i got recognized the other day too so fun i love if you guys ever see us i say this all i mean i don't know about you do not look at no I'm <laughs> <laughs> always come up and say hello to me don't say hi to phil <laughs> no yeah I, I love meeting you it's guys it's so fun dude yeah that was clear sarcasm if you couldn't tell we love meeting you guys um but yeah we were talking on my live stream the other night about someone was like well Vinny, do you still want me to come up and say hi to you if you're talking to like a cute girl at the bar i'm like yeah that's when you come up that's a flex like, oh my god, what do you do? You're a fucking YouTuber? <laughs> oh my god, like, what do you do? Like, yep. I play fucking Pokemon, That's bitch. happened to me. <laughs> what the fuck is That's good? That's definitely happened to me. Oh, it's fucking awesome. It's like, I don't know, there's something about clout and just public Jeez. figure. <laughs> clout. It's fantastic. I love that word. Micro-influencers. Yo, we're gonna be macro soon, bro. I when when I, is macro? It's a million plus, right? That's I what technically... I don't fucking know. I think, that, I think if you Google macro-influencer, it'll say... A following of Jesus over one Christ. million. That's how we know we're headed to the technological dystopian future. Let's check it out. Let's see. Well, dude, ne by next year, you're going to have nine channels, so you're just going to be able to add all those numbers up. I know. You're going to be macro, bro. Exactly. What does it say over here, huh? I'm not getting a good read. <laughs> I think I'm right. But, yo, do you know, fun fact, oh. we... Oh. A, macro a macro influencer has an audience within the follower range of 50 to 300K. So I'm a macro influencer. No apparently. way. Yeah, dude. That can't be accurate. It's I'm like, macro too? Apparently. Fuck yeah, man. This one says over 100K. Still macro. Let's go. Yep. I feel fucking really great self-value right now. Yeah, dude. <laughs> likes and, and just fucking greatness. My man. likes are still there on Instagram. Yeah, I don't know what, when, I don't, I don't know if that's happening in 2020. I don't know what the story is with that, but they are still there. Right. Um, There was one other thing I was going to bring up about this whole internet topic and whatnot and i fucking can't remember you gotta love it when your brain shuts down mid podcast yeah. you know yeah think 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 harder i'm diving in I'm one thing swan diving. one thing that i need to get better at i don't know if you guys are like this too when i forget something i won't shut the fuck up about it until i remember so essentially the conversation that i'm having with someone becomes absolutely useless for the next 30 minutes because <laughs> i and i'm not gonna do that today i'm just yeah. gonna say all right fucking if it comes back to me it does if it comes back you let us know what should i eat tonight at this fucking hibachi dude hibachi might be one of the best cooking styles it's so good i want to get one of those tables from a house we should day. just put one in here yeah. so we can cook as we <laughs> push one button yeah. just Bro, opens up and korean shit. barbecue though what do you like better korean barbecue or the hibachi hibachi Korean, really? Korean barbecue is a cool experience if you're like with a group of people they've yeah. never done it before. You get some soju, you get the drinks, you this fucking man knows his words. Oh, wait, oh, we're ready to grab it. Oh, <laughs> okay, there we go. You want some fucking yeah. raw pork? Bam, it's great. The quality of meat at the Korean barbecue places is just like delicious very and good. better. But I think hibachi is just like it, you could do it more often. And it's it's always good. It's also nice with hibachi that once the food's out, they turn off the oven. Yeah. With Korean barbecue, you're fucking dripping the whole time, man. If you're not by one of those AC unit <laughs> things, yeah, you're true. fucked. We went to the place in the city. It was um, Jungro. Yep. That was fucking so much. Yo, shout out Amy. That was so much fucking fun, dude. Uh, we had ourselves a delicious. blasty blast. I love going out in Koreatown in the city, by the way. I know. If you guys ever see us in Koreatown, I'm probably hammered. It really sucked. The last time we went, I was so pissed that night. Remember when like, everything hit the fan? Oh, yeah, dude. We were going to the city every weekend, like two months ago. Literally every weekend that we were in the city. Roof, so much fun. Rooftop bars, fucking. So much fun. Going out with a new group of people every weekend. It was so much fun. Then we went out with some of my friends from home. Not to throw you guys under the bus, but fucking buzzkills. Let's be honest. <laughs> we fucking got out. <laughs> nobody, fucking fugazi. Nobody could figure What's out what the, the matter fuck with they you? wanted to do. We met these these two girls that were fucking. Very nice. Very lovely. Great foreign accents. They were all about hanging out. Everyone was walking at different speeds. Oh, I can't fucking was, handle this. It was it was a mess. Listen, it was a shit show. 
you figuratively, can't, liger- literally. <laughs> you can't have every night be a banger. No, you, you can't. Know? Every, even, even party animals like us that are just great at having a good time, sometimes <laughs> we hit a blunder. By the way, there was one episode where I said, you miss 99% of the shots you don't take. Yeah. I was listening to it in my car. I'm like, that makes no sense. It's 100%. If you're not taking the shot, why would there be 1% off? Facts. Makes no sense. You miss, yeah, no, exactly. You miss 100% of them. If you're not taking the shot, you can't fucking, that 1% ain't there. <laughs> How cozy is that bed? Be honest with me. Right? It's Tempur-Pedic. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I guess your cousin's sleeping over. Ah, that's fine with me. Fuck yeah, man. Dude, I'm loving the free-flowing... Um, I know you guys don't like it when I get all meta, <laughs> but I, I just gotta say... Hey, it's- hey, we want more fitness flops back, and Phil, uh, you should stop the podcast. Uh, that kid Vinny sucks. I fucking hate him. You know, I got... Fucking Snorlax and Melted Altoid looking ass some chewed bubblegum. <laughs> Ser- <laughs> Take it easy, guy. <laughs> Serious uh, commentary on all that, and, and you know this, because I vent to you about everything that right. bothers me. I... Literally, I'm so happy, I'm, and I talked about this on my live stream recently, I'm so happy I'm, I'm, I'm at a point in my content creation career where hate comments don't get to me. Is that plugged in? Phil, don't fucking do this right now. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's, it's plugged in. I mean, it's been recording. <laughs> okay, good. I, I literally just went to fucking touch that like it was a bomb. I was like, anyway, I'm very happy that I'm at a point in my content career where legitimately hate comments don't get to me. I don't even look there's, at them. There's, I gotta tell you guys, seriously, thank you all so much for the love and support that you have been showing on the podcast because the people that watch us love us. And it's been so great. And if there's 1% of negative comments that I see, I'm honestly just like, okay, we're not for everybody. And, and we we knew that going in. Those people are the same people. <laughs> like We're not getting new haters. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a group of people that just love to just be toxic. I mean, you so can okay, you get that everywhere. I remember having this talk with one of my good friends who's going to be a guest on the podcast. Shout out to the homie Christopher. Christopher. But, but literally, <laughs> for some reason, we say that whenever we talked about, talk to or about Christopher. But anyway, you know, there's so many people out there. When you're making content, this goes to any of you guys that want to make content potentially one day. There is a thousand percent chance not everyone is going to like you. And that's just something you have to come to grips with. And it's the internet, so there are going to be people that are ride or die that have your back, and that you guys that have been the fans of the podcast and our personal channels, you guys are amazing. And the people that don't like us, that's completely their opinion, that's cool. I just never understood leaving hate comments. Like, if I'm on a video and I really don't like it, I just leave the video, I go to something else. I don't understand the notion of like... (laughs) Fucking... (laughs) Just like going in, like chill. People also don't understand that the YouTube algorithm doesn't care if it's a positive or negative comment, it just views it as a comment. Yeah. Same with dislikes. It's engagement on the video, and it helps the video. Facts. Like, if you don't like the video, don't watch it. Facts. Bitch to your friends about it in real life, but by literally leaving a hate comment, you're helping the person who made the video. Yeah. I, I've noticed, too, a lot of the times when with collaborations, because this is not by any stretch. I've done so many collabs for me, and you have collabed. Usually, the first couple of collabs, there is some degree of hate because... We talked about this before. I'm 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 a jarring creator when you first yep. witness me. And there's some people that love that loud energy right from the jump. There's other people that always will hate it. And there's people in the middle that, you know, they don't literally love it. They don't really hate it. And they're just kind of along for the ride. And that's cool. Like coming to terms with the way you are and the way you create is dope. Because I'm not going to let 10 comments on one of your community posts make me be like, well, I think I should be a little bit more quiet in today's. Fuck you. Like I'm going <laughs> to do what the fuck I It's only my audience too. They are some toxic motherfuckers. <laughs> I'll be the first to Fish admit bowl, it. <laughs> fitness industry bullshit where everyone wants one thing. Listen, I, I get it. They they came up on you making a certain amount of content that they fucked with heavy and you built a huge empire with it and they want that. But they also need to understand, we've talked about this a million times. You got to expand yourself. Listen, You're not going to want to do that all the dead. time. I beat the fuck out of the horse. That's fact. I milked the udder dry. There's no milk left in the goddamn cow. Give oh, it a break sh- for a, a second. It's a cow just a second. Horse. Just a second. Just a second. Just a fucking second. It is cool though that you now have a platform. And then I can... take over. Yeah, exactly. That's it. I Done mean, deal. I would. I would literally. And this is me being your best friend. I would say definitively, you're making better content now than you ever have. Oh, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like we're we're both just evolving constantly, and that's what's so fucking dope. And you're never you're never gonna be at your prime when it comes to content creation, in my opinion. Like you can always figure out new ways to enhance it, make it better try new things like today just literally like a freestyle podcast we just fucking sat down start to, literally the only thing on our minds were like okay we have an audience member now and we're gonna be talking about dogs yep 
An hour has gone by, and we've covered so much dope shit. And I don't, let us know what you guys thought about a style of podcast like this. The free flowing energy. By the way, Spotify is popping. Like, dude, we have over a thousand views on our last two podcast episodes Holy on shit. just Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Dude, Spotify is the app. It's fucking sick. The UI of Spotify is gorgeous. And just to throw some analytics at you, we are most viewed for whatever reason in Chicago. That's our biggest shout our, out Chicago. <laughs> that's our biggest like uh, City. <laughs> demographic, if you will. Yeah, Live this, show Chicago. At yes, hundred k. Yeah, and it's it's crazy that 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 platform that did all that research on to get our podcast up. It tells you everything. Most of you guys are watching us on an iPhone. I can definitively say that. Good. Most of you are in America. There are people though from a lot of different countries, which awesome. is really fucking cool. So thank you guys for Sunday that. Sunday sauce is worldwide. We're fucking global. I that know. just sounds so fucking legit, man. Yep, we're global enterprise. I love too. I was out at the Nest, and people were like, "When is your podcast getting on Apple?" I'm like, Psst. "It's already there." Apple, Google, Spotify, YouTube, YouTube. Soon, Alexa. Soon, Alexa. And by the way, when you get on Apple, you also get on like eight different other things. I've never even heard Good. of these, but they're it's fucking there. Also, leave us a review on Apple because a lot of you have already. We have like I don't know if you checked. We have like 35 reviews on Apple. They're like all five stars. They're all five stars. So shout out to the diehard Sunday Sauce homies. You guys are fucking lit. I'm going to start looking at a uh, tomato man to get some sauce made. Yeah. Absolutely. We should do a giveaway at like 50K <laughs> and just give away like homemade we sauce. We need to make our own sauce. We will do that. We should just sell it. That's what I'm saying. This could be very, it's very merch. lucrative at some point. Merch. Yes. It's just a jar of tomato sauce. Homemade. Honestly, life itself is just a jar of tomato sauce. You know what I'm saying? Not if you're an oct octopus. That's a fact. Squeep. Weirdly <laughs> intelligent. But yeah, we've been going for an hour. Anything else you want to cover before we wrap this up? Because I got to go clean my nuts and get to uh, get to the sabachi. Go scrub that sack. Gotta go. <laughs> yes. Nothing worse than a smelly sack, Phil. The vinegar scrote. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> apparently, uh, by the way, I was gonna say baby powder is essential to like having your balls smell good. But apparently, there's like a recall on on baby powder. <laughs> no, seriously. Apparently, like it develops. Jake, do you have any insight? On it that? apparently like develops cancer or some shit. Yeah, he said it resolves itching problems. It really does. And the smell, it just keeps everything pristine down Yo, my there. sack is floral at all times. <laughs> yeah, smooth. Smooth as, like eggs. Smooth as two scotch <laughs> eggs. What the fuck? <laughs> and it's a, a nice floral aroma. Yeah, that's great. We actually finished with a lot more time. Like, we weren't as pressed for time as I thought we were. I'm really proud you of us. You have 57 minutes to get to a hibachi place. Are you kidding me? I'll fucking... You know, on TikTok, that's... Salakadool, and betakadool, and pipipipapatipoo, and then all of a sudden, she's like... I'm gonna be you don't even know what I'm talking about. No. It's this new trend. It's not new. <laughs> Basically, they're dressed like in pajama pants and shit, and then they... Salakadool, and malakadool, and bibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibib
We're gonna go out tonight, have ourselves a fucking evening. I'll let you guys know if Phil joins me. Probably won't. This is literally going up, by the way, in like less than 12 hours. This good. is pretty fucking sweet. No, not less I'm than I'm not good at math. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're listening on Apple Podcasts and fucking Gmail and Google. Spotify. Just give us a five star. That'd be cool. Thanks. We love you guys. Say hello to your <laughs> grandmother for me. <laughs> and thank you to our live studio audience. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for watching, listening. You're fucking awesome. And we'll see you guys next time. Pop, 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 peace. Skippity doo, skippity doo, skippity doo, skippity doo, skippity doo, clean my balls.